hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And we are going to take our leave from Blue Crab Ivan for just a little while. I'm going to come back and try to get that unique permit someday, but I'm, I need to take a break from that for a while. We're going to move on to Maku Maku Lake. I have not been to this lake except for one little event that happened during Halloween. Other than that, I've never been here, so this is an all-new experience for me. I think I'm going to keep the boat that I have for now, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm trying to decide if I should switch that off because I might need the broad holders. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I prefer this boat, but truthfully, probably going to need to bring the big Draco with the rod holders. Anyway, I, like I've said before, I'm not sure if I've got all the gear that I need for this because, like, I have never been here. I've kind of looked over the species. They're somewhat similar to the Amazonian maize, so it should, the gear I have should work. It should work. So, if not, man, yeah, we're going to losing a little money. Well, let's go ahead and jump in here. I think we're ready. Travel cost is not cheap, so we better make it back. Okay, one thing I do like about this is after the complexity of the last lake, or the last waterway, this is a lot simpler. <laughs> I mean, we've got basically the big lake, we've got a couple of little, i got a tributary here, I do know that there's a lot of piranha back in there. And we've got, looks like a little bitty lagoon-ish thing here. I don't know if we can go back in there or not. But we'll find out if we can or can't. Let's go ahead and see. We can either, well, we can either start off the boat dock, go to the Otorongo Village, or to Oval Island, which is this little island here. I guess you could also moor yourself here as well. But one thing I did want to check this I did get a marker from this let's see D Wood 1971. And I can finally set the mark here. This is for the elusive Arapaima. I was thinking that that is the monster that we're going to have to go after. So we went ahead and got that. It might also be a good location for all air payment, but we'll find out soon enough. Alright, let's see here. We're going to go back to the map here. Now, I haven't put any bait on any of these because I don't really know <laughs> what I'm doing here. It looks like we're going to have some missions. And let's see, for the South American... Let's see, the fish took. So it looks like, yeah, that that's the monster, the elusive Arapaima. I keep saying Paima. Arapaima. That will be one we'll go after, but first let's get ourselves familiar with this lake. I think we need to do that first and foremost. So let's go ahead and get the, one of the missions out of the way. Let's go ahead and do the this the no 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 Maku Maku Lake exploration so we can get Dobson supply so we've done these three we've already caught these I think we caught those I don't know when I caught those honestly so we got to catch a red tail barracuda spotted a Raku and an Oscar which should be fairly simple but we'll just keep that already on so if we catch them even by accident and we're looking for the things yeah let's go ahead and head on in okay let's see here now I do remember being here during the Halloween event I'm trying to remember what that was it was some kind of a it was either the pariah, pariah or something like that been a little while. I wonder if you can use those boats. Apparently not. But yeah, you could probably easily use the canoe 
Because this is not a huge lake. It would be great for taking back in the tributaries. It would take a while, but... We're going to see just what we have available here. Now the map... Shows a lot of islands. So it is actually a lot bigger than it first appears. Let me stop this for just a second. I'm going to get out for a second. Take a look around here. Well, one thing's for certain, there's a lot of cover here. And what is our peak periods here? Looks like we've got one coming up at 9 a.m. And another one close to 5 p.m. And the nighttime peaks 3 o'clock in the morning. Slight peak at 1 a.m., but 3 o'clock is way, way high. Tomorrow's then pretty much the same, and then, then this day, it's the end of the day and the start of the night. So we really want to get to 9 a.m. if we can. I'm just, just trying to decide where I need to fish from here. Let me check my map again. Okay, this is where the marker is that he placed. And that's back in those tributaries, I, or like a lagoon I was talking about. Might want to see just how hard that is to get to. I have caught Arapaima before. And I have a rod that can pull one in. And I also have the lures I used. So let's see what we can do here. Go back in here. Yeah, I had a little bit of trouble with this boat back when I was at uh, Blue Crab. It wouldn't start. I'm like, uh, you, your boat can break down? <laughs> I didn't think that was possible in the game. Let's see. I'm sure it does get wear and tear, but come on. Okay, so we need to go over to here. There's a narrow passageway right here. This kind of reminds me of the Amazonian maze. Might have been better. Oh wow, that looks like a great place to fish. This is cool. This is cool. You know there's fish in here. I mean, it is... You just know it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get in this big area here. And there's the marker. Looks like it's a little deeper here, too. I kind of wish I had the other boat. I wish the other boat had rod holders. That's all I, w that's all I can say. Yeah, this looks like a ser seriously great place to fish. There is all kinds of cover. Okay, there's our marker. And we got... I don't know that those are lily pads, but there's some kind of underwater vegetation. Well, let's see what we can go for here. And we have, these are some pretty big hooks, I think. Captain hooks, 7 aught. Probably alright to use, though. There's plenty of catfish down there. And I'd imagine they go for dead Labari fish. Let's try that. Oh, wait a minute. Before we do that, let's advance time just a little bit. 
Let's go to 8 a.m. And it's raining. <laughs> great. Just great. Let's see. Where is that? Now, see, now I can't see the deep. There was a deep spot somewhere. I don't know. I wish they had the depth marker a little bit better. Well, what we'll do is we'll just... We'll place this over... Wait a minute. First, before we go any further, what does the Arapaima go, Arapaima go for? Again, Araku minnow, shiners, large minnows, small minnows. Okay. Does anything go for the dead Araku minnow? <laughs> Kamu Kamu. We have that. Corn peas. Dead Lombari fish. The flat whiskered catfish goes for that. Actually, there's quite a few things that go for that. Well, let's see if we can't get us a, a catfish somewhere here. Off the bottom. I think this one I might put a actual either a shiner or a large well I got air minnows let's try those use the native species let's try that out there okay and let's see. What have I got on here? I've got no. Let's try the swim bait. And I do have it. The dual two swim bait. Trying to remember if there was something else they went for. We got a couple of swim baits here. I don't think they went for poppers. I'm pretty sure they don't. They're not. Let's try this. I think I'm going to go with a fail safe here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and see what size hook do I have. Let's go down a size on the hook. Since we're not knowing what the heck's going on and what we can catch, I'm going to go down to a 4 odd. I'm going to throw a shiner on there. And we're going to just see if we can get something. I know they're piranha down there, and they will go for shiners for sure. There we go. We got something. Hold on. Which one is it? Right one there. Okay. This is off the Araku minnow. Or Raku. Ah, red eyed piranha. Look at them choppers. And I think something might be chasing this one too. Now I look at it. it. Seems to be moving around an awful lot. Oh, there is something on it. I'll be damned. There we go. Flat whiskered catfish. I knew something would go for a shiner. They always do. So that is a regular size one. Not sure which ones come unique here. Let's see. Maybe we can catch a spotted Araku and Araku and 
finish part of that mission. Let's see. So what do they go for? They come in unique sizes. They go for red worms, blood worms, crickets, and grasshoppers. So basically, same st stuff. They're basically the same niche that the sunfish fill. A flat whiskered. Let's see, there's a lot of uniques here. We got silver arowana uniques, croakers, ripsaw catfish, red belly piranhas come in unique. Red tail barracudas only come in common size. Oscars come in unique. That's interesting. Gilded catfish. That's not one I've heard or seen before. Then the flat whisker comes in unique. Quite a few of them here, guys. The Bayara. That's another one of the ones with the big teeth. Air minnows, small minnows, and shiners. So we're pretty safe. They eat. Many of them go after that, so that's a safe bet. Well, let me go ahead. Let's see. I'm trying to remember here, honestly, which is my heavier rod, because yeah, it's to the second one. I knew it was a big one of them. Was a really heavy rod. We're gonna try tossing that back over here. just gonna have to figure out where these guys are guys if you have any idea where some of these can be found let me know you don't have to send me markers necessarily I, if you just know the coordinates or can give me a landmark something all right let's see here we're just gonna try over here there are fish up there Quite a few of them, apparently. Just thinking that the rain is affecting the bite rates to some degree. First rod now. This is off the dead Lambugari or whatever. So this is most likely a catfish. No, it's trophy red belly piranha. Good god, look at those teeth. Red belly piranha. These are I think the typical ones that you can get for fish tanks. I had one. <laughs> They're actually not really all that mean. Like to kind of get the reputation for. We'll keep him. Not a lot of cash, but I think we're getting another bite off of this one. Ah, damn it. Bugger took my bait. Well, let's get the first one. So we got the dead Lombari. We got that. Uh, let's see. Let's size the hook down just a little bit. We'll take it down to, well... Let's take it down to a 2 odd. I'm taking it way down. I'm going to see if I can get something a little bit different. Thought I had Kamu Kamu fruit. Well, I have pickled Girari. Now the red eyed piranha go for that too. Hmm. <coughs> Eh, I'll tell you what. Let's 
Let's throw a freshwater prawn on there. Let's see if there's anything out there that's a little bit different. I do have a smaller rod with a smaller lure. This is a shallow lure, so might get some attention with this. I don't know how well they go for crankbaits. It seems like if they go for crayfish, they would go for these crankbaits. Getting a bite off of this one, huh? Freshwater prawn. Ooh, and he's decent size. N trophy flat whiskered catfish. Now we're starting to get some, a little bit more size to us here. Let's see. Let me take a look at him. How big is this fish? Yeah, that's not bad. About channel catfish says we'll keep him. Okay, I'm gonna look at this again. Like I said, I am not familiar with all these species. It does say see casting spoon so there are some that do go for casting spoons Dobson fly larva I do have I think I have some of those too pretty sure I do yep I do might be another one worth trying butterfly peacock bass well we know what they go after they go after Crankbaits, poppers, walkers, the whole nine yards. I think we were going to see more of those if the sun would come out, though. There's quite a few things that go for the crankbaits, honestly. Swim baits, crankbaits. Yep. Well, kind of thinking that this. Let's try over by the grass, grassy areas right here, or whatever they are. Ah, there we go. Number two. Araku minnows. Ah, red-eyed piranha. Okay, let's switch this. Take the, see the hook size is six odd. What should we go for this time? Let's see. I thought I had large minnows. Apparently I don't. Well, shoot, that's not good. Well, we're going for catfish. Let's use the liver. Best bait in the planet for catfish. I don't care what kind of catfish they are. It's what we always use. It was cheap. It smells. They love it. Ah. 
Ah, finally. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a decent one. Trophy Ripsaw Catfish. 1890 cash. Now we're getting some decent cash here, guys. And it's a personal record. So, I did catch them in the Amazonian Maze, but I, don't, I, I do remember they didn't come this big. Pretty sure of that. I think they only came in common size. That, that makes a difference here. Well, this is a funny looking fish. Now look at him. He almost, in some ways, resembles uh, sturgeon, except it's on the sides instead of the top. Those scoots, that's what they call them. He has a really strange shaped mouth. Get a picture of him. Well, he went for that chicken liver. Toot sweet. His chicken liver still is the catfish favorite. I'll tell you, that is a must if you're fishing for catfish. Got to have that. Not having a whole lot of luck with the lure fishing here so far. This could be a bad spot for it. I don't know. Okay, looks like it's number one again. Dobbs and fly. Is it going to be another piranha? Yes. <laughs> Damn piranhas. They're almost pesky. Well, I'm not happy with that one. Let's try something totally different. Go for something that Oscar's like. Let me think. Oscar's go for quite a few things. They do go for the blood worms. Let's give that a try. Since there are unique ones here, you never know. And it's on my list. My to-do list. Sounds like we got another one here. Hold on. Let me get out of here. It's the second one? The first one. Oh, it's the first one. Yeah, it's not very big. Well, it might be an Oscar, though. Yes, it is. Trophy Oscar. Very nice. And I found them. They're right here. Cool. Yeah, I think we're going to be placing a marker. Where did I get that second? I want to be able to find more of these guys. I'd like to get a unique, so right there. taking more than I'm getting the darn the darn fish surprised I haven't seen peacock bass it seems like they are usually everywhere especially the stick ups and stuff stuff like that or this type of 
floating vegetation. one is it? This one? Alright, what do we got here? Another ripsaw catfish of regular size. That's pretty good cash though, considering that's just common. 810? Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I think they can be pretty much found anywhere. I'm sure they can be found in the big holes, too. Let's try back over here again. I have a feeling there is something there. Oh my god! Check it out! That's what it is. It's a, a caiman. That is awesome. Huh? I wonder if you could accidentally hook one of those guys. That was cool. Alright, I want to take a look at the map again. Yeah, I just don't know. Now, there's a lot of cover over here. I might back this thing up a little bit. Yeah, I think we might have been a little too far forward. Well, we can almost go to shore over there. I wonder if we can. No. Not quite. Well, let's just give this a try again, but I'm going to go ahead and fast forward time. We're going to take it to 4 p.m. this time. change our bait, put a bigger hook on here. Eh, I'm going to switch to the swim bait. Let's see, where is it? There he is. It's supposed to be lucky. Let's see if that holds true. Mm. 
Hey, I'm getting a bite. Holy crap. I'm... Boy, am I getting a bite. Ah. Now we're talking, people. This is something with some substantial size. Can't tell what it is just yet. I think it's a catfish, but... Oh, it's a young arapaima. They are here. Awesome. 25.93. Now we're talking some cash. That's a young one. <laughs> that is a young one, people. Jeez, that's a big fish. Well, that's our first one for this lake. We are going to place a marker there so that we know where it was caught. So over on this side. So I was on the wrong side. I th see, it could be something that simple. Wrong time of day, just a little bit too far to the west. You never know. And we got something off the swim bait. There we go. Let's see what we got here. A red eyed piranha. <laughs> Ambitious little fella. Uh, can't tell which one it is. Okay, this this one. Not as big, my guess. Probably another piranha. Yep. Get ourselves a large minnow on here. Six odd hook. That's good. Let's put one of those captain hooks on there. Something's going after that, like right now. Come on. Don't just tease me here. Aha. We've got us a good one. Let's see what we got here, guys. Another young Arapaima. Pima. That's two. And it might be three. Hold on. Nice. Okay, this is bigger than a young one. This is maybe a mature one. The reason I know is this is an 81 pound test rod and I th think I have 81 pound test line on it too yeah it is definitely an arapaima of some size
My gear can handle it though. Let's see if we can get this fella in. See what big he's still young. He's just on the big size. Big side here. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, he's a lot bigger than the first one. Yeah, he's much bigger. He's pushing the hell out of be common size. Yeah, they don't have as much red on them, I don't think, when they're younger. And now we're cooking with gas. We're finally starting to get something. And there goes another one of those guys. Check him out. <laughs> it's like he owns the place. snagging <laughs> probably not not sure what I'd do with him I caught him See if we have a repeat of that. That would be cool. All right, there we go. All right, we might have a little bit bigger fish here. I don't know. Eh. Yeah, maybe. Not an Arapaima, though. Kind of curious to see what it is. It is some kind of catfish, I think. A unique flat whiskered catfish. There we go. Our first unique for this map, right there. First unique. Not bad, guys. That's that. I think that's going to make for our first episode. The Getting the Arapaima and the unique flat whiskered catfish. You can't beat that. Well, I guess you can, but for right now, I'm happy. And there you go. Get a picture of him. And that's my first unique. Alright, guys. I'll tell you, that is good. We're just going to have to do some serious exploring, serious testing. We now at least found a place to catch the Arapaima, even though we're just getting young ones. Apparently I've got another one interested, or something interested. Hopefully you won't give up. Getting a lot of that here. Well, come on and take it, damn it! Could be another, <laughs> could be another piranha too. Ah, oh, come on! Quit playing around. I think it is a piranha. Yeah, I think it's a piranha. Didn't look very big. Okay, there's something bigger then. Nope, he gave up. It was a, it was an Arapaima, but he gave up. He went up there, he nibbled at it, he swam away. Well, doggone it. Well. Maybe he's interested in this one. Oh, crap. Something is. Okay, that. And I got something else chasing the other one. Gosh, it never fails. Yeah, I was going to end this episode. <laughs> I was like, you know, I was pretty happy with that unique, and 
This is a big fish. Holy crap, this is a big fish. And I got another one on that one. Holy crackies. Oh my goodness. I wish I could lift the anchor so they could just pull the boat around. Okay, this this is not common size. Nope, nope, nope. This is not common size. No, we're not going to push it. Damn, I lost the other one, too. God bless it. When it rains... God bless. <laughs> you have to be kidding me. Well, it's not very big, whatever it is. No, I'm getting this fish, Dagnabbit. I am getting this fish. Holy crap. It is a big fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. that one too. Oh, wow. Come on fish, get tired. what this is. Yes! Yes! It's not the trophy, but it is a full-size common. Full-size common. Our first one. 125 pounds. 6,153 cash. Very nice. Ho oh, ho ho. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now that, my friends, is a snapshot. Jeez. Okay, we are definitely getting get a little perspective here. He couldn't hold it that easily. <laughs> Nobody could. Must have a little bit of the Hulk in him or something. I don't know. Gamma radiation. All right. Well, that was very successful. A little slow in the beginning, but. I think everything went very well, guys. That's our first look at this Maku Maku Lake, for real. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, I'm going to have to rebait everything. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.